Good morning, everybody. It is February 25th, 2023. In Big Bear, California, we are following our first ever issued blizzard warning in the entire time that they've been doing weather forecasting in Big Bear. Shocking to me that that's the case, but that's the case. And we just had to drive through like a four foot snow berm in front of my driveway, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. It's, uh, let's see, let's see what's going on here. Um, it is 2.42 in the morning, 33 degrees outside. Um, yeah, it's, it's epic out here, you guys. It's absolutely epic, it's beautiful. There's probably gonna be no one out here. We're gonna go to the dam, which is the snowiest part of the whole valley. Then we're gonna turn around and come back. And then we're probably gonna be going to do another video probably at, as soon as we get daylight out here. But yeah, this is... Uh, I know you don't see any street names there, so this map is kind of pointless. It says 34, it's not 34, it's gotta be about 27, 28. But this is because I just just was running my car in my driveway. Hang on a second. I'm just going to get out and check it out real quick. The phone's right in front of me. It's right here. <laughs> I just never, ever have it there. So this is what we got going on right now. That's us. Let's hit the play button. So yeah, this is this is great. The, the heavy part of the blizzard's coming through in just a few minutes. So we're going to be catching it in good time. Especially over by the dam, it's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's do this, folks. Plug this bad boy in. Make sure that this phone has some enough charge. inches in the next like hour or so but a foot just tomorrow morning so but all of that that super heavy stuff is supposed to start right now and we're gonna catch it at the very start of it because that's what I do I love you guys man that's what I do if we don't see one other car on the road. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that's the case. I'll tell you what though, the further we go this way, you guys, the heavier the snow will be. over to the live feed I have going on over at my house um, just showing you 
what's going on live. So if you guys wanna see exactly what's happening at that, at that very, very moment, check out the live feed. It's on my channel and uh, yeah, I've been doing live feeds the whole storm. Here we go, Big Bear Village. Just so pretty. So pretty. Unfortunately, uh, I tried doing a live, another live feed driving around, and I don't know why it won't let me do live feeds uh, driving right now. It's the weirdest thing. Like using cellular data, it's for some reason it's not letting me do it. It was the most frustrating thing yesterday because I, I really want to do that for you guys. But we're probably going to have to just uh, do a uh, do regular videos, which is such a bummer. But at least I'm able to get that live feed working at my house for you guys. It's been really awesome. The chat room has been phenomenal. Everyone in there is so cool, you guys. Like, like so awesome. I think you guys would absolutely... Uh, love the conversations in there. Everyone is so sweet. It is so pretty in here, isn't it? Beyond pretty. should be seeing our snow plows. It's basically three in the morning right now. No one's dumb enough to be out here but me. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. I'm, I'm freaking dumb to do this. But I've been doing this the whole time I lived here. Watching it snow and recording it so I can watch it again if I get super down. Like, yeah, it does help me out when I'm super down. But right now, for some reason, the temperature's staying at 33 degrees. I'm, I'm a bit shocked. Um, I really hope none of this turns, turns to rain eventually here because that would be so miserable. I don't think that it will, but we do have that, uh, that Pineapple Express coming in with this storm, which usually gives us like 85% rain. And then once the end of it comes through and the cold front wraps around, then we get a little bit of snow. It's just, it's, and it, 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 it's always at the end, end of the storm where we'll see snow when we get our major storms because of, as I said, we get that subtropical jet stream, which is merging in with these storms coming in from the Gulf of Alaska. And uh, usually it's just, we're right at that altitude where it's a little too warm. A thousand feet higher, it, it'd be all snow usually, but this is one of those all snow events for us. And um, hopefully that's why it's, it's such a big deal. I mean, we see storms with this kind of precipitation all the time. Not all the time, maybe once, twice a year. But for it to, to be cold enough to allow the subtropical jet and that Pineapple Express to, uh, to not win out with uh, warmer air and, and rain, this is, this is rare. So we'll take it, we love it. And once again, it's a bummer about the uh, my map here. I can't get that other map up. It's 33 degrees, 251. Yeah, let's just cruise, guys. This is Big Bear, California, February 25th. Tomorrow is my dad's 91st birthday. I can't believe it. Happy early birthday to you, dad. I love you, man. and 
have a little more fun without having to worry about hurting anybody but ourselves. And when I mean faster, I'm, I'm not going to go like way faster than the speed limit, but probably a little bit faster than the conditions are saying you should go. But this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I want to see that temperature drop. I need to see that temperature drop. This is scary. guys when we get to the dam and turn around because they're, they're going mighty slow but they are making it safer for you guys to come up here so, and they do a great job our snow plow crews you guys give them a round of applause because they they do a fantastic job for you guys they are so good at what they do Side streets don't really matter because we're not taking any of them. So it says it shows you that this is Big Bear Boulevard. And then when we turn right at the Big Bear Dam, if if we do that, it's that's uh, um, North Shore, Highway 38, North Shore. snowiest part of the valley you guys the snowiest part of the valley so how that works so over here is the big bear dam and when i say the valley i mean um just the valley floor not some of our neighborhoods that climb a few hundred feet higher in elevation i'm talking for our whole entire valley the floor area the big bear dam and this area over here uh, papoose bay boulder bay they get the most snow of anywhere in the whole whole valley um, if you want to be in a neighborhood that gets the most snow the total in this whole area, you want to go to Upper Moon Ridge. For those of you who just like to be up here to be able to go skiing but want to try to avoid all the snow at your house that you're staying at or whatever, try to get an Airbnb in Baldwin. You won't be doing any shoveling. You'll just be enjoying yourself at the ski resorts. Just drive to the ski resorts. Don't worry about shoveling because you won't be getting hardly any snow. In the drive I did yesterday morning, um, that, uh, the one that's um, the complete valley tour, you'll see that there's there's still dry patches in Baldwin Lake, which is just, it's just mind blowing. But that's how it always is up here. I, I've coined it as the Big Bear Snow Rule. The Big Bear Snow Rule.
ってWe might have to just turn around at the dam because I have a feeling I'm going to have to make another video in about an hour. And there's no point in doing like this a super long video if it's not going to be uh, getting watched because when I post another video, then the video prior to it hardly gets any views. And so I want you guys to watch what's super important. Okay, here we are. We're at the Big Bear Dam, you guys. We're gonna make a U-turn in the intersection up here. And coming back, this is the way that 90% of you come into Big Bear all the time. So this will, you'll, you'll be able to see. Look guys, they have Highway three, uh, 18 closed. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yep, road closed. Awesome guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It says road closed. Sweet. I mean, that just means that there's, they're getting pounded over there. So I like seeing that. All right, so this is the way you guys come into town. The lake is right here to the left. Now, this will be a good perspective for you guys. Look at the Highway 18 sign, completely buried right there. Whoop. Once again, thank you, Snowplow folks. You guys are, are doing a terrific job. I just wish that, like, uh, when they plow in front of your driveway, after your own personal plow services come through to get your driveway and everything else done for you, the, the major snow plows come by and just stack a whole bunch of snow right in front of your place. I didn't think I was I was gonna make it out, but I gunned it and, and, and went through these huge boulders of snow. So the reason why my, my camera gets hot, guys, is because I have my phone right above the defroster. And so that's why it gets hot. Otherwise, my phone's fine. A lot of you have been telling me to, to lower my, my frame rate. That'll cool the phone down, but that's got nothing to do with it. It's because my phone is sitting right above the heater. <laughs> so that's why it gets hot and it, uh, it, yeah, it overheats sometimes. Hang on. everyone's having a beautiful morning thank you guys for sharing this experience with me I love doing the, these videos I love working on this channel you guys are remarkable people such loving people Sign's almost fully engulfed. Haven't seen that in forever. I know that's annoying. It's still 33 outside. We're using our windshield wiper fluid to kind of get some of the ice off of our uh, 
into the wipers and, and maybe it'll keep that sound from, from happening so much. Yeah, see, it's not that bad. Once again, this is the way that most of you come into town when you drive up the mountain. So this is giving you the perspective of, of what it looks like for you to drive in. And once again, the reason we're going to go around the whole lake is I'm probably going to have to go back out in an hour. But it started really coming down. So it was important for me to uh, to go show you guys the start of the real heaviness that is about to hit us. And you guys saw on the radar, that looks nasty. So that's what we got to deal with. Nastiness coming in. Town right now. Come up to Big Bear, come up and visit after the next Wednesday. Come up after next Wednesday because we have another foot to a foot and a half after this storm even coming. This storm ends uh, Saturday. Is today Saturday? Well, either way, this storm ends Saturday, you guys. And then we get like a day and a half break and then we have another good sized storm coming. The next storm is, isn't quite as nasty as what we just got for these past few days. But if we didn't have this storm that is hitting us now in the past couple days, this next storm would have been our biggest snowfall of the season. So it's, it's two pretty good sized storms back to back. Pretty awesome stuff. Instead of going through the village, we're going to do the regular route that you all would probably take. Stay on Big Bear Boulevard, which means you make a left there. And we are going to take this 
all the way to me. Wow, a vehicle. It's probably an officer or a little snow plow. Or, or maybe not. Wow, it was a regular car. That was the first regular car I think that we've seen. Hey, babe, I'm recording right now. How's it going? Babe? Summit Boulevard and then a left on Brownie Lane. You get to Moonridge like that. I mean, we could just stay straight and go to the next stoplight, but what fun is that? Let's get a little loose right here. guys this is a lot of snow and it's just about to get worse thank you guys again for the support appreciate everything about you guys the, the live feed has been awesome the comments are beautiful please like and subscribe help me out let's help these videos go let's help these videos blow up out there i'd love to show the rest of the world what southern california looks like covered with snow thanks guys i appreciate you and i will chat with you all later peace out